G'day, Tyson here. I'm making this video in the Gold Coast in Sydney, Australia. And I've just decided to make a video <clears throat> about my upcoming lens replacement surgery that's planned tomorrow. And I just thought it would be good to make a video to see how I progress from tomorrow onwards. But just a background on me, I have been suffering from presbyopia or um, problems with my short vision and my long distance vision began to deteriorate quite rapidly over the last couple of years. I'm in my early 50s and for the last oh, probably 15 years or more I've been wearing glasses um, and they've obviously just been getting stronger and stronger prescriptions. Um, first of all, it was just for <clears throat> working on the computer, and phones, and then eventually my long distance vision just started to deteriorate as well. Uh, I'm quite active, I go to the gym, I, um, I do all sorts of things where I'm sweating a lot, I spend time overseas in the tropics and often my glass is just constantly falling off my head, driving me mental. And so I started looking up about intraocular lens replacement surgery and it is a minefield of information. There are so many different types of lenses. Um, originally I was going to go and get my lenses done in Thailand because the cost of surgery there is far cheaper. Um, and there was a very good doctor who has done thousands of surgeries and the patients are very satisfied overall with his surgery, but he stuck to one particular type of lens, which was a Carl Zeiss brand Lisa trifocal intraocular lens so basically you get good close-up vision then it's blurry then it's good mid distance vision then it's blurry again and then it's good long distance so you have those sort of gaps of blurriness in between which apparently your eyes adapt to or your brain adapts to it but um, there's another type of lens called an EDOF extended depth of field which um, you don't have as good close-up vision, but you have a good continuous range of vision from probably 45 centimetres or more. From that point, you can see quite well all the way to infinity. So I looked at those type of lenses as well. And what I found out is a lot of um, ophthalmologists, eye surgeons, have sort of their own preferences of lenses. So it was quite difficult to try to nut out which lenses would be the best one to have. And there's no actual right or wrong answer because it all depends on what you want, whether um, you drive at night or whether you <clears throat> like looking up at very close objects, if you're doing work that requires that type of thing or whether you prefer distance visions, what you have to realise that you have to trade off certain things with each lenses. No one lens is perfect. So anyway, I found this YouTube site. It's called Eyesight, sorry, it's called Eye Surgery Explained. And the guy that runs that YouTube site, his name's Alex. And he's from the Ukraine. It's actually quite sad because during the invasion, he actually had to flee the Ukraine. His house got blown up, his neighbor got murdered, and another neighbor got raped. But anyway, he fled to Spain, but I managed to get a video conference with him. It's well worth the money. It wasn't much really at all for the information he can give you. And basically, he nutted out the best um, choices of intraocular lenses that I should look at. And 
he, he's been working with intraocular lenses for years. It's been his job. If you look at his websites, sorry, look at his um, YouTube channels, you'll, you'll um, learn a lot from his comparison to different lenses. So he um, recommended the Technus brand intraocular lens. And the one he recommended, it's called the Synergy, S-Y-N-E-R-G-Y. And the Synergy lens is like a hybrid between the trifocal and the EDOF. It's actually a multifocal lens. Um, and that's the one that I decided to go with. Now, there is uh, another guy on YouTube called Shannon Wong. And he has a he has his own YouTube channel, and he had some videos on the Synergy as well, comparing it with the Panoptics lens, which is another popular lens. And originally, he decided the Synergy was the best lens, but um, he flipped probably about a year later and decided that the Panoptics was better. So this sort of threw me out a bit, but what I have ascertained is that with the Synergy lenses, the eye surgeons have to pretty much be exact with their implants. <clears throat> There's a lot of variables involved with the implant. And if they get it just marginally wrong, the lens won't work as well as it should. And my current eye doctor that I have seen, Dr. Dr. Matthew Wallace, Russell, Vision, V S O N, in Brisbane, he told me that it's about a 70% um, success rate with patients who are completely satisfied, and about 30% may need um, some tweaking. So, what happens is after your eyes have settled down, probably several months down the track, even longer, you're still not satisfied with the with your vision. They can do some tweaking with laser surgery, and basically, it's, from what I understand, it's a refractive laser surgery where they'll <clears throat> they'll do some um, lasering on your eyes and just to sharpen up the focus. So for me, that isn't really much of a problem. I'd prefer to go for the Synergy versus the Panoptics. Uh, the Synergy from all the studies has shown to be, um, shown to have a better close up range of vision, whereas the Panoptics, it's a bit further out. So that for me was important. It's not guaranteed that I won't have to wear reading glasses after this surgery because it's not like a trifocal where it will give you very close up distance vision, close up vision, but um, it should kick in to the point where it's about 45 centimeters. However, some people find that they can read up closer. It just, everyone's eyes are different. So what I'm hoping is that I'll get good close-up vision and that distance vision all the way through to distance vision will be good as well. But it's not guaranteed. So there is like a bit of a risk, whereas with the Panoptics patients from the Shannon One video, um, there seems to be more satisfied patients with the wow factor after just a few days, they're, um, they're really happy. Whereas the Synergy seems to take longer, but um, if it's done right, I think from all the, the data that I've read about it, the Synergy sort of is marginally better. And the Synergy was the one that my doctor recommended. And that was the one that Alex recommended as well. And I've been looking up on it, so. Fingers crossed, um, the Techno Synergy will do its job. So, at the moment, um, 
my eyesight is quite terrible. I, for the last five years, I've been taking uh, prednisolone for an inner ear disease that I acquired in 2018. That's slowly killing off my hearing. And the only thing that stops it is prednisolone. And that has accelerated my, my vision um, deterioration. So that now <clears throat> I pretty much full time have to wear glasses. Uh, I train at the gym without them because it's just impossible with them falling off all the time and the sweat and the going up and down the bridge of my nose. I'm just sick to death of them. The amount of glasses I've broken and sat on, um, it just drives me mental. I, I hate glasses. I could wear contact lenses, but I suffer dry eyes. Um, but I just decided that I'd prefer just to do away with the glasses as much as possible. I'm prepared, if I have to, to obviously um, have some low strength reading glasses if needed, because if it works out, that's hopefully the worst case scenario that I'll need some low strength reading glasses. Best case, I won't need any reading glasses at all. So fingers crossed. One of the side effects with these intraocular lenses is uh, you get halos, glares, starburst around lights, which can upset some people. But generally over several months, it's called neural adaptation where your brain actually um, somehow I don't know what the right word, for want of a better word, acclimatises to it, and you don't notice it, that it's there. So that's one thing that uh, a lot of people complain about in the beginning stages of their lens replacement is the disturbances at night with, with um, those type of things. But if you give it some time, your brain will actually adapt to it and you won't even notice, and, and some people even don't even see those glares and halos anymore. So hopefully um, that won't be an issue. And anyway, because I've pretty much got, I'm right on the cusp of developing cataracts, I already see, like if I look up at the lights now, I can see starburst and glare already. So it's not as if I wouldn't be used to it. I'm already used to it. So. I just thought I'd make this video and I'll do another one hopefully shortly after the video after the surgery and down the track just to um, describe how my vision is hopefully improved hopefully I won't be sitting here next time with a walking with a white cane <laughs> so fingers crossed and I'll talk to you later cheers